Hey everybody, welcome back to Coffee with Colada. It's Adam Flowers here. And we haven't made a video in a few days with Frank because he hasn't been feeling too well, but I had an idea today. And uh, let's give him a call and run this past him. Plus, I have a question that came up uh, on Facebook, I believe. So we're going to ask him that question, see if we can get it all straightened out. Hello. Hey, Frankie, it's Adam. Yeah, Adam, what's up? Hey, listen, are uh, you feeling a little bit better? Do another video tomorrow? Yeah, I could do it tomorrow. This okay. damn cold's got me under. Yeah, right? Um, hey, uh, I I'll come by. I'll give you a, you know, call you and we'll set up a time. But can I was just thinking, because we have 80, we got 82 subscribers. And thanks, everybody, for subscribing who's subscribed. And if you're seeing this, hit the subscribe button. Um, but uh, we had a question come through uh, from one of the subscribers. Uh, well, actually, it was on a Facebook question. It's from Mike Spilatro. Um, and what he is basically asked is he wanted to have Joe Lombardo, Jackie Cerrone, Milwaukee Phil. We want to understand the relationship between those guys. Who was the boss? What you know crew were they on? The Elmwood Park crew? The what? So could you clarify that? <laughs> sure, it's easy. Colada, Colada, grab your favorite brew. Ask a question, he'll answer it for you. The mafia, the mafia, the mafia, the mafia. You better hit prescribe if you know what's good for you. Drinking a cup of coffee with Frank Colada. He'll tell you a lot of, he's Frank Colada. Joe Lombardo uh, was a great avenue crew. And Joe Lombardo actually... Uh, as an extension of uh, Jack Saron. Jack Saron became the boss, and Jack Saron was in charge of uh, Grand Avenue crew. Now, Milwaukee Phil, he more or less was out of the Southside crew. Uh, you know, I mean, people got all this stuff confused, and it's understandable, because uh, that confuses me sometimes. Now, Tony went to work for Phil. Tony originally was hanging around with James Tortorello, Turk. Turks the South Side crew, you know, he's with Joey Ayoub and all of them guys. They were the power. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of confusing, as I said. You just have to bear with me. I know what I'm talking about. And uh, so Tony was put to work with Phil, and he ran Phil's things, which was Phil was way above Joe Lombardo. Mm -hmm. And at that time, you know, Phil and Jack maybe were on the same level. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. But I know when they made Jack the boss, I do remember that day like it was tomorrow because I remember I was standing with Tony when it happened and Tony was chewing on the side of his thumb, which he always does. And I said, what's the matter? You look like you're, he said, I'm waiting for to see who's going to be the boss. I think at that time, uh, uh, Joey Iupa went to jail for a short spell and they were going to put another guy in to, to manage the outfits, uh, daily, uh, you know, functions or whatever the fuck you call it. Right. So then they come back and, I, and I would just like wait for a jury trial. Mm -hmm. And then Tony go back, he says, shit. He says, well, he says, it didn't happen the way we wished it would happen. He says, I was hoping Turk would have got it. He says, but they put uh, Jack's around. I said, what's the matter? He said, I oh, guys, he's a fucking maniac. You know, and he's mm -hmm. not my kind of guy. So, and it was while well, Tony was in Vegas that this took place. But we were in Chicago bullshit when this happened. So now, Jazz, getting back to Joe. Joe, Joe was always what, what, great what, 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 what year are we talking about? Oh, God, I can't remember the damn years. Decade. That's 60s, 70s. Okay. Uh, Joe was always uh, a Grand Avenue crew. As I said, he was uh, a crew. He used to run cop games. Mm -hmm. And put money out on, on the Chicago's. Mm -hmm. He said, "I got to sneeze." So, uh, oh, this damn cold's killing me. Bless you. Anyway, uh, so Joe was always with Jack. Always. I want you to understand something. If he wasn't with Jack, his brother Rocco wouldn't have had the snake giants with Jack. So they go all the way out to Marlowe's Park. So you get the suburbs in there. Okay. Now, if you're talking about the West Side crew, of course there were Steve's there, Johnny DeFranco. And the, and the crew, he had Joey, he had Jackie. They called him Joey the Builder, big fucking deal. Joey the Builder. 
You know, uh, mm-hmm. I never really thought too much of Joey Andrzejewski, and I still don't think too much of him. He just was a good money earner. Mm-hmm. You know, they made they put a helmet on his head, made him like he was the boss. Well, he could go to the boss and get things done because he generated money. And remember, anytime you generate money for these people, it puts you in a stronger position. Sure, that's just the way it operates. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. Johnny, Johnny was the same way. He had his own little bookmaking operation, gambling things. And all of Chicago's strength was due to gambling, uh, their money. Money is true gambling. You know, that's where it was. Mm-hmm. So Johnny was, uh, uh, put a lot of money in. But Johnny never had no strength until the very end. And then he didn't know how to use it, I don't think, anyway. I see. I don't think they were very. Jan, let, let me put it like this, then. If something had to be done on a serious note, Mm -hmm. would they go to Johnny or Joe? They would go to Joe because Joe would take care of it personally. Johnny would have to get somebody to take care of it. I see. So if that's telling you anything, that's Mm -hmm. the way it would be. Okay. All right. No, thank you. That's all. I, that explains their whole relationship and, and, and all of that. And if anybody has any questions about it, put it in the comments below. Um, hey. Oh, wait, I want to say one thing before you thought. Sure. You know, most people they hear these things and they go to these historians. You know, I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> I'm not knocking these historians to start with. But you know where they get their information from, don't you? They get it from newspapers, books, from people talking like me. This is where they pick up their knowledge. So sometimes along the way, it gets screwed up. Mm-hmm. You know, you know. Yeah, and maybe. I understand that. Sure. Like that kid, Michael. I know who he is. That's that's Michael's son, Michael Spacho's son. Okay. He's not a bad kid, and I understand he's. I understand his feelings and his emotions, rightfully so. I would feel the same way, mm-hmm. and it's all right what he's doing. And I don't care if he's got a little problem and he wants to ask about it. I can straighten that. I'm not gonna lie. There's not for me to fucking lie about. I've been there, done it. I went through all the all the cemeteries you could go to. All right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, whatever the kid wants to know, be helpful with him. Hey, did you hear that, Mike? If you want to ask something else, put it in the comments below. Thanks so much for, for asking that. That's a great question. Um, I'm glad we straightened that out. So, Frank, uh, remember when you first came out of hiding, you put out the first book, your first book, Collada. That's when you met Robert Allen, and you and Robert, I believe Dennis Arnoldy and Dennis Griffin, all sat down and made a video and it was an interview, and it was a video that we sold on the Vegas Mob Tour. Uh, it sold for a few years, and then we stopped selling it, and uh, and it's just kind of been laying around. It's There's a bit and a piece out there on YouTube, but what do you think? Can we pull from the vault and uh, run maybe a 10-minute segment or 5-minute segment of it? Yeah, you can. Okay. And like I said, it was my first one, and I don't think it was done that well yeah. because of the moderator and all of that shit, you know. Yeah. It's something new that I'd done, and I was getting a little uh, a rambunctious in it. Yeah. And, uh, but I always spoke the truth anyway. Okay, and, so... And sometimes it varies on different kinds of, you know, things that I talk about, but... Yeah, you could put it out there. Everybody, welcome back to Coffee with Colada. We are at our destination today. Oh. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> there she is. Lewis is working on her. What's going on? Uh, this is a 40 foot bus. Streamlined like a jet airplane. Check this thing out. Looks like looks like a completely custom. Looks like an airplane.
not the fool, buddy. Right <laughs> this is a ball guy problem. <laughs> Wine rack. Oh my god. It's a wine rack. Yeah. A bottle of Jack Daniels. You should leave that out. Make it good for the video. The bus instruments. We even got a CB. Okay. <laughs> so um, everything is ready. You know, we got a CD player. We got a back monitor for the backing it up. This is all the lights. I'm not sorry, these are the mirrors, side mirrors. And let's see if we could hear the horn. Jesus, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, that's the Colada way of honking. <laughs> Again. <laughs> this is the Colada way yeah. of honking. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is, is cool. Yeah, so when we're going, I think when we're going back east, the sun should be behind us. And I think all the guys could sit right here. Oh, yeah. I Imagine gotta... heading down the highway like this. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a very smooth bus to drive. The Colada Commemorative Tour. When's it happening? When are we going? In the next video, I'm going to tell you guys about that uh, and how you guys can uh, be a part of it and how you guys can support it. Before we wrap up this video, though, I want to explain what you're about to see. John is a good friend of Frank's, and John wanted to play a prank on his daughter, embarrass her a little bit at the airport. Frank was supposed to go to see this. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to. So, enjoy. Good evening. My name is John. Tonight, we're going to pick up my daughter. She's been dating a young, a young lad, about the same age, 35 or so. They've been out on perhaps 20 dates, would be my recollection. They're, uh, they're liking one another a lot. And you know, you do not, you do not get a second chance to ever make a first good impression. And we're not going to do anything that's going to, uh, what do they call that when you're, when you're flashing your junk, it's called uh, indecent exposure. We're not going to do any of that tonight. Tonight, <clears throat> that's a nice Borat. Remember Borat? I'm, I'm so excited to make this film for my daughter. You have no idea, because uh, she's quite the prankster. But, you know, you always have to watch out for get-evens, because she won't hold any grudges, I don't think. But she'll she'll get even, so. But uh, this rascal right here, I'm not going to mention any names, but his initials are Snakebite. And uh, he'll have my back. He'll have my back. This is where the fun starts, baby, right here. John's going down to put on his outfit. It's embarrassing hell. Future son. Yeah, it ain't going to take too long either, Papa. You know. Not a whole lot to it. <laughs> I'm like, this is my car, huh? Oh, what a proud daughter you've raised, yes. I know, man. This is going to be the highlights. Children lives matter. To be traumatized, uh, uh. so sad. Correct.
First impressions are everything, baby. Oh my gosh, you guys. It wasn't me. What is he on right now? Uh huh. The best. Oh, man, I've heard so much about you. That is good to meet you, man. John Stevenson has made his bones. You brought some joy to this stressful world, Poppy. And I know you did this in honor of Frankie, along with your daughter. And he's laughing up in heaven right now. God bless you, Frankie. We love you. We miss you. And we know you've got a sense of humor. Oh, yeah. You have to. You have yeah, this is, exactly. I've seen it all. Now it's a big Hey, John, come here. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Please be sure to visit frankcolata.com for coffee cups and t-shirts. Also, hit the like button, share this video. Oh, and don't forget to hit that prescribe button to subscribe. I found gold. I hope you enjoyed yourself. God bless.